Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Caleb sent me a note and said, Steve, check out the latest invention from Ford. Now, you'll recall not so long ago I talked about how Ford had patented the idea of pushing ads to you through your infotainment console. And I said the day that starts happening is the day I start punching my car. So <laughs> I'm not a fan. However, Ford just filed for another patent. And this one, this one now is going to cause some... Uh, not necessarily controversy, but some discussion. Ford files patent to bring old school stick shifts to electric vehicles. And then it adds, but Generation Z drivers don't know how to use them. <laughs> Brooke Cato wrote this for the New York Post, but the story is all over the place, as is the patent, which I've got a copy of here in my hand. But um, she writes, that Ford's new electric vehicles could soon see a retro addition, manual gear shifts. A patent application from the automaker published this month details a gear shift for electric cars that mimics the appearance of a traditional stick shift, but without any gears to actually switch between. And um, the point she's making is uh, about 18% of Americans actually know how to use a stick shift. Uh, with the number even lower in certain demographics, shall we say. Uh, many of the people in my audience know how. More than 18%, I guarantee you. The Wall Street Journal reports that just 1% of cars sold in the U.S. have a manual transmission, and that contrasts with 80% in Europe. Now, interestingly, I have mentioned before I currently own five cars. Two of them have got standard shift. Three are automatics. According to the Daily Mail, the addition of a gear shift could be an attempt to mitigate complaints regarding a lack of driver engagement reported among EV users. Apparently, some EV drivers are saying, hey, I'm bored. <laughs> I've got nothing to do here. Electric vehicles lack operator-to-vehicle physical feedback that is advantageous in conventional motor vehicles, the company wrote in their patent application which outlined the design of an electric gear shift mounted on a raised console. The gear shift would vibrate and provide resistance to mimic the manual transmission of a fuel-powered vehicle while allowing the driver to control the electricity between the car battery and the motor. you got to be very careful, though, working that clutch because you'll grind your electrons otherwise. So Ford isn't the only car manufacturer looking at these kinds of things. Hyundai's... Ionic 5N features fake EV shifting, which mimics how a manual transmission would behave. Now, of course, they can't have a patent for Ford on the shifter if somebody else already got it. So I'm guessing that Hyundai's mimics the behavior of the transmission, but does not actually have a fake shifter here for you to play with. Similarly, Toyota's Lexus RZ will feature interactive manual drive, which recreates the feelings that the midsize SUV has an eight-speed manual transmission, according to reports. And if we've learned nothing from Fast and Furious films, which, which you know, I, that, <laughs> we've learned a lot. When a car is going fast, how do you make it go faster? Shift. Uh, if you've shifted and you want it to go faster, how do you make it go even faster? Shift it again. And see, everyone knows that that's what a shifter does. Okay, so gears, no, 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 no. The faster you shift that lever, the faster the car goes. And so you need to be shifting that lever quite a bit. And for the people out there who don't know how clutches work and, and standard shift transmissions, this is really the key. This is why we like manual transmissions so much. We want the car to go faster, we shift it. Faster, shift it. Even faster. And so your ability to go fast, the, the, the limit of that, is limited only by how many shifts you've done. You can always go faster with more shifts. I've, I've, it's clearly explained in Fast and Furious. That's how it works. So um, <laughs> I have a copy of the uh, patent application right here. It's 17 pages long, contains a bunch of really cool drawings. And it's called Shifter Assembly for Electric Vehicle. Um, and it's got a bunch of numbers and stuff. Background. And paragraph three says, electric vehicles differ from conventional motor vehicles because they're driven by one or more rechargeable battery packs, having lithium ion batteries, for example, or any other suitable electric power storage unit. 
As electric vehicles increase in power, operators may desire alternative modes and capabilities of engagement with the electric vehicle. So we're not talking about making the car perform better. We're making it more fun to drive. I, I'm, I'm translating this for you uh, from, from this dense legalese into plain English. Uh, for example, electric vehicles lack operator to vehicle feedback that is advantageous in conventional motor vehicles. It's advantageous. Integration of alternative modes and capabilities of engagement with electric vehicles can be challenging. So the point here that they're making is that it could be advantageous. Believe it or not, and again, I know there's people out there who actually do patent work for a living, patent lawyers. I've, I've spoken to some. And I would have questioned this and said, is it advantageous or is it desirable? Because I think that most people would say, it's not really advantageous, it doesn't do anything. But it's desirable because it makes the car more fun to drive. However, keep in mind that patents have to be something that's unique and you have to describe what it does. And so I think saying that it's advantageous means that it does something, whereas if it was simply desirable, it might not be. But I could be completely wrong and I apologize. I'm simply thinking out loud. And so somewhere down the road when I buy a Ford, you know, like a Ford Explorer 2035 or some such, uh, it could have uh, all electric and battery powers. It can have uh, a fake shifter. Uh, I hope by then you've got a fake clutch to go along with it so I don't feel stupid. Uh, it'll push ads to me, not just through the infotainment center, but also probably in the inside of the windshield. You know, a heads-up display advertising. Like, your, 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 your own windshield becomes a billboard, okay? So, Caleb, thanks for sending me the note. I believe this is the silliest thing I've ever seen. Uh, and if you read the 17-page patent application, uh, the bulk of it is literally diagrams of how the shifter is going to look and it talks about how the shifter will not just be sitting there, but you can put it into different positions in a, in a shift console, you know, with, with like those gates that, you know, the shifter goes here or here and here or here, and you can shift it around. And um, it, it's got a lot of that. And apparently, um, that's going to be advantageous to the drivers who would otherwise uh, be bored uh, in their electric cars. So... New York Post ran the story. Brooke Cato wrote that Ford files patent to bring old school stick shift to electric vehicles. And she points out Gen Z drivers won't know how to use them. <laughs> Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Actions speak louder than tweets.